came up short against Devontae, if he comes up short against um, Devin, I think people might look at him and say, yeah, he's a good fighter, but he's not really, you know, going to the next level by coming up on the big stage. Okay, well, here's the thing. As I mentioned to him, Ryan has stipulations with Tank. Ryan had to drop down. Ryan had couldn't regain more than 10 pounds. And if he did, if he gained more than that, or if he was above his his weight class, they would find him a lot of money. We're talking hundreds of thousands of dollars. That's put pressures on, on, on a fighter. So not one person would want to do that. But it, I was glad that Ryan did it. But I mean, hey, we took the loss in stride. It, you know, he didn't get knocked out completely like he was, you know, no, he, he, he lived to fight another day. But do you feel like there is pressure on your son just from the standpoint of... I think the pressure is on Haney. Why is that? Why? Because Haney <coughs> moved up to 140, okay? Prograce, I, okay, Prograce was, I think, over, what, 30 years old or something, right? So you don't think he was a good fighter? I, he's all right. He's all right. I mean, who did Prograce really fight? Think about it. I mean, you think he fought somebody better than Luke Campbell? Luke Campbell was a gold medalist. You know, you know. Okay. I'm sorry. He fought a few people. Let me tell you something. Luke Campbell is a pro, is a is a gold medalist. You know how hard it is to become a gold medalist. Would you say? Have you ever been a boxer? Would you say? Wait. Have you been a boxer? Would you probably haven't been? Would you want to know? No matter what you look at, it's not gonna be easy. What do you think about Devin's power? What do you got? Dev, Dev power is there, but you know, here's the, here it is. Devin, if, what's the difference between Ryan and Devin? If Ryan hits you and wobbles you or drops you, what what, what do you think Ryan would do? Exactly. You got to finish the job. That's your job. It's to finish the job, right? In boxing, you can't take any chances. You either finish him or just walk away. You, you can't do that. You got to finish your fighter when you're do you down. Think, who do you think the winner will be ranked on a pound for pound? Well, top three. Top do, three. Do you expect your son to knock out Devin Haney? That's the. That's kind of like, like the story. Absolutely. If, if Ryan tags Haney, he's down. I'm telling you right now. I don't care who you are. If Ryan tags you and hits you solid, you're going down. And I'm going to tell you something. Duarte was not an easy fight. Duarte was tough. If you know about boxing, Duarte was tough. He came from Mexico. And Mexicans are like, who your sister's up? Senior. They won't stop coming after you. That guy was tough. And Ryan even told me afterwards, he goes, hey, that guy was hitting hard. Do you think that, um, with, is Devin Haney going to be um, Ryan's toughest fight, a tougher fight than um, Javante actually, you think? If you say that, what? Do you think that Devin Haney is going to be a tougher fight for your son as opposed to Javante? I would say they're all tough. Because you got to give every boxer credit. You know, because they work hard, man. They work hard. You can't say one is better than the other. You can't say that. You know, even old, old casuals might say that. Oh, he's better than... Yeah, maybe. But when you get in the ring, everybody has a chance. Hey, Henry, what happened was Roly, Roly, I guess he priced himself out. Mm -hmm. It was too much. And and Ryan's team decided, you know what, we'll try Pitbull because Pitbull was, was next in line. That didn't that fell through. So it's like when those fighters fell through, Ryan was like, well, you know, what am I doing? Let me just go to, to Haney, you know, because Haney was right there. And it landed on Haney. But um, the opportunities were there. Gary, what happened with the location? I know both fighters were surprised they changed to New York now. Why is it, why wasn't it in Vegas? Like, what happened with the location in New York? Well, it first started in Vegas, you know, um, but Canelo fight is in May, very close to April. So they didn't want that gap. They didn't. They, they wanted to make sure that that was free, and that's Vegas for you, right? Uh, they didn't want any uh, interruptions. So, but then 
something happened with Canelo's fight, it fell through. So then it shifted, it wanted to shift back to Vegas. But now we're here at the Barclays Center. So are you go happy figure. with that or are you happy that's in New York? Hey bro, or? you know, it, it's, I love New York. I'm happy. As long as I'm happy that there's going to be a fight. Henry, yesterday uh, Ryan posted a video, obviously, with the uh, Oscar. You know, we, we, ha we saw what happened at the press conference. Uh, Ryan says he doesn't like holding grudges, having problems with anybody. Do you believe he's going to be fully focused now that, you know, Oscar's obviously you know, not going to have any situations in the press conference like the previous time? Uh, no. That, that's been squared away. I, I think everything's fine. Um, I mean, we wouldn't be here if it wasn't. What about the chemistry with Derek James? It's going to be the second fight together. I know you've been in the camp. How they've been going together, working you know, in the mids and everything. You feel like the connection is getting stronger? Yes, yes, it's getting stronger. And, and he's really bringing out the best in Ryan and, um, you know, working with him. Can, in, can you tell right us about way. the eight count that he had as an amateur? Yeah. Well, that was in Oxnard. And see, that's one thing that people don't know. Um, but that was, you know, goes way back. But, you know, where again, when Ryan tagged you, He's gonna either wobble you or he's gonna drop you. And with Haney, he wobbled him, and the referee right away called. What did he hit him with? Did you I probably it probably was a left hook, you know. Um, but you know it goes way back, so I'm not really gonna, you know. But he did wobble him. I saw that, you know, because I was in the back. I mean, I was working this corner, but I saw him in the back, and I saw Haney get wobbled. But more importantly, in West Virginia, that's when they really fought when they were like 15, 16. That's when Ryan busted his ear down. Mm. You know, and that was the left hook. It seems like May, uh, uh, Devin is worried about that relationship with uh, Mayweather. Uh, has Mayweather been giving him tips? Uh, what can you elaborate on about that uh, relationship with uh, your son and uh, Mayweather? All I know is that Mayweather did meet with Ryan. They ran together, I think, at 3 in the morning or something like that. And... Uh, they were just talking, but, you know, it wasn't anything that they're going to give tips on what you should do and how to beat them. Nothing like that. I mean, that's between the trainer and my son, you know, or between me and my son. Mm -hmm. You know, we have our own strategy on what we have to do. We, we don't have to seek other, other, you know, anybody's help. We, we, don't, we don't need to do that. You know, even though I, I love Mayweather. Mayweather's mm -hmm. a good, um, mm -hmm. excellent, excellent boxer, and uh, I respect him. Ryan Garcia is looked at as probably one of the most physically talented fighters in boxing. Uh -huh. What is he going to look like when everything comes together? The experience, technique, with the athleticism? Well, you know, that's what you strive for. That's what you've done. He's been doing since he was seven years old. I mean, that's what you strive for. You strive for to improve yourself. You gotta, you gotta go through all these avenues. You gotta go through the tournaments. You gotta go through the national tournament. You gotta go through, you know, the pros. I mean, I think getting through all that is, is is a journey. And now here we are, a championship title fight. I mean, it's well-deserved. I mean, can we possibly see the rematch with uh, Javante and Ryan? You know, Ryan said he'd be open for that. And obviously, no rehydration clause and, and be a little bit more fresh. Just like this one, you know, everything is just uh, equally fair for both Only fighters. if there aren't any stipulations. You got to be fair. But you know what? They played it smart, you know, and it is what it is, and we just move on, you know. It's, it's okay, but man, I would love to see a, a, a normal weight class, mm. a normal weight class. Mm. And I'm telling you, I've heard from other people that they said that they wouldn't dare let their son go through the stipulations that Ryan did, and it really hurt Ryan. It really did, and I would never allow that to happen because I saw what was going on, and I was I was actually concerned. Very concerned.